Welcome to Buddy RC. My name is Dan. And I'm Eddie. Today, for those of you who bought the OMP Hobby, the ZMO VTOL, and you bought the bind and fly units, and you want to fly it with an S-Bus receiver. Today, Eddie's going to go through the step-by-step -step on how to put it into the debugging mode, set your control surfaces, and then he's going to show you how to do it with the Radio Master S-Bus receiver, and then he's going to show you how to do it step-by-step -step with the DJI controller. Yes, this would also apply to using the Radio Master TX16S with a Crossfire module in the back. To enter into debugging mode for the OMP ZMO VTOL plane. What that means is we're going to adjust all the control surfaces. As you can see right now, the control surfaces are not level. None of them are level. I did this for the purpose of this video. We're going to first start with the Radio Master TX16S. So we plug it up. We let it initialize and in the overhead you can see that there is a green and red blinking light on the GPS module. So how we enter debugging mode is on the radio, I'm going to show you on the overhead, you pull back the elevator and hit your SD switch all the way towards you. What that does, it puts this GPS light into debugging mode, which is red, solid red. Then you're going to go ahead and put it into the center position of the switch. That will start, if we start looking to the motor pods, we can start adjusting them. I am adjusting right now with the, with the right stick, I'm adjusting the right side of the aircraft. So if I go to the right, I'm going down. If I go to the left, I'm moving the pod up. So right now is in a VTOL status. So we're going to try to get it as 90 degree as possible. And then the left stick with throttle all the way down, you're going to be able to adjust. If we look here, it's uneven right now. It's tilted further back than what it needs to be compared to the right side. So on the left side, you're going to use the left stick. You're going to hit towards your left, tilt the, the motor up. And if towards the right, it tilts it, it tilts it down. So right now here, we can see that I'm tilting down. We're going to go to 90. So it, it's even with the right side. And on the overhead again, we're going to show what to do to the next stage. So you're going to go away from you, down again, and center. Now the motor pods are in the forward flight position. You see that the right side is tilted up a bit compared to the left. We're going to adjust that endpoint on that side again with the right stick, adjusting the right side of the aircraft, and I'm tilting it down until it goes right about there. Now they're both even. You can also kind of look down at them and see if they're even. Okay. Now again on the overhead, away from you, back towards you, back to the center position. Now we're at the ailerons. So again, the right wing aileron, we're going to adjust with the right stick and we're going to get that as level as possible with the wing and the left, the left aileron, left wing, we're going to adjust with the left stick again. And we're going to try to get it as level as possible here. I'm going to try to get both shots here. So you can see on um, the overhead that I'm using the left stick and it's adjusting the left aileron. So I get it to where it's 
as level as possible with the wing. And this one still has a little bit more to go. A little down. Okay, so again, on the overhead, away from you, towards you, center position, it moves to the next control surface. Now we have the V-tail. The V-tail, you also want to have it as level as possible using the right stick for the right side of the V-tail and the left stick for the left side of the V-tail. Again, away from you, towards you, center position, and we're back to the motor pods. So if you, if you go away from you, towards you, and back up, as you can see on the overhead, it's back to your normal mode, and it's out of debugging. That's, you have to do it twice to be able to get out of the debugging mode. So you hit the switch towards you, away from you, towards you, away from you, and that will get it out of debugging mode, and you will see your lights will be blinking green and red, and that just means that it's waiting for GPS lock, but we're indoors. So that is how you do the debugging and adjusting of all your control surfaces with the Radio Master TX16S. I'm gonna go in now with the DJI transmitter and show you how to do that. Thank you for watching. Okay, now on to the DJI setup. We have a DJI transmitter. On the upper right corner, we have the SD switch. The SD switch is the one you're gonna use for debugging mode. So you're gonna pull back your elevator stick with the throttle all the way in the bottom position and you're gonna pull that SD switch towards you and back into the center position. That will get you into the motor pod adjustment. And we have control of the motor pods as you can see here. I am moving my stick to the left and it moves up the motor pod, the right motor pod. And if I move to the right, it moves down. Same thing with the, with the uh, left motor pod. If I move to the left, it goes up. If I move to the right, it goes down. So again, I'm gonna try to get this in 90 degrees because it's in the VTOL mode. 90 degrees to the aircraft, both of them. And just line them up. Then we, again, hit that switch away from you, back towards you, to the middle position. Now it's in forward flight. And as you can see now, they're both pretty even, so I don't need to adjust that setting. Let's hit it again, away from you, back towards you, back to center. And now we're in the ailerons. So I'm gonna move this aileron again. I'm gonna move it down so it's level with the wing. Same thing with the left one. The left one, I'm gonna move it, and you're gonna see it go down, okay? Again, SD switch away from you, back towards you, back to center. Now we have the V-tail. The V-tail is still in the correct position because I didn't change the V-tail. So we're gonna skip that one. Away from you, back towards you. And if you go back to the middle, you're back to the motor pod VTOL position. And to get out of it, you're gonna click it twice, away from you, towards you, away from you, towards you, and back out. And it's back to the red and green blinking light, which means it's uh, ready for GPS lock. And that is how you set it up, guys. Uh, it's not any more complicated than the S-Bus version. It's just a different transmitter, that's all it is. So, here you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Eddie did a very good job explaining how to go through the steps. I hope this helps. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Thanks again and we'll see you soon. Yeah, and like always, in the description we'll have all the links to everything we used in this video. Thanks, Bye. see ya.
be in this, you know. I know. It was pretty cool. <laughs>